Welcome to Reload. I'm Anthony, and look what we have here. It looks like uh, this adjustment that Microsoft has made for the CMA with the Activision deal is going to be approved. Now, there's still some final little hurdles here with the CMA that need to be done, but um, uh, the, the CMA is saying that on the face value of what they've seen so far from Microsoft, they like the deal. Now, I, you, I guess that they're taking comments from other companies, etc. Um, you know, people in the UK to see if this is, you know, if everyone's on board with this. But Ubisoft does get those rights for the 15 years. And um, this seems to be all just a matter of time now before it closes. And it looks like that October... I think it's 18th deadline will be able to be made, which is quite crucial. But WCCF Tech does have the article here, and they, you know, they post, you know, Microsoft restructured Activision Blizzard deal addresses previous concerns, says CMA approval now likely. And you know, as much as that there would have been other things, and we've seen now a huge leak from Microsoft. Uh, well, not really from Microsoft, but about Microsoft, about all these deals, and those have been in the headlines and everything else. Here it is where, you know, Microsoft gets some good news, and uh, the CMA believes that selling Activision Blizzard cloud gaming rights to Ubisoft addresses its previous concerns in cloud gaming competition since Ubisoft uh, is an independent player in the industry. And a reminder, the CMA officially blocked the deal. Uh, in late April, the only regulator in the world to do so. FC, FTC is sued to block it in court, um, but lost a preliminary injunction. So um, that's basically where we are. And here's Microsoft's Brad Smith. We are encouraged by the positive development in the CMA review price. We presented solutions that we believe fully address the CMA's remaining concerns related to cloud gaming and streaming. We'll continue to work towards earning approval to close prior to the 18th deadline. And then also Bobby, um, the CEO of Activision Blizzard, um, he goes through and says, I said, as I said, when we announced the deal, the transition will help accelerate our ambitions to, for the future of gaming and enable us to better serve our players. Microsoft recognizes commitment to excellent and creativity independence that has served us well for the last 30 years. I'm confident that their resources, technology, and tools will help provide us with even greater opportunity to create an even better games. This is a significant milestone for the merger and testament to our solutions oriented work with regulators. I remain optimistic as we continue the journey towards completion and I am very grateful to each of uh, you for your dedication and focus throughout the process. So, you know, uh, will we finally get to the end of this? I think we will. I think that we are on that path now and some of the other stuff that has came out in that leak from the um, files that were uploaded to the FTC and the court case and everything else, we see that Microsoft had their eyes on Steam, had their eyes on uh, Nintendo, and you know, kind of made some of those comments. It will be interesting to see how this kind of, uh, it, how and when Microsoft moves for more acquisitions in the Xbox uh, arena, in the gaming arena, because. Um, you know, you kind of saw some things out of the files that Microsoft does seem like they need to have more acquisitions to be able to grow their game pass and to keep that growth and to keep pushing that growth. Is that something that uh, Microsoft is going to really push or is that something Microsoft is going to step back from now that it is, uh, uh, now that it's good, it looks like it's going to finally complete the Activision Blizzard deal? I think that they're, you know, based upon what kind of some of that stuff that was in there, now there's a lot more data we have to go through, but you look at Phil Spencer's kind of talking about it, he, I, it looks like he still wants to go after more deals. Now, are those going to be big deals? I think in the short term, no, but I would not be surprised based upon how this has gone that, you know, in a few years, do they then try to go after a bigger deal? Maybe there are some FTC leadership changes or board changes, et cetera. Do they go decide to go after another big deal then? That is another concern, but now you're starting to get, you know, where Microsoft has even said there that, you know, they have to increase their growth or, you know, maybe walk away from gaming. There's that comments out there as well. If they walk away from gaming, are they selling all this content out to others or what are they doing? That's a detriment to gaming if they're no longer in the gaming that's, that's losing a player. And uh, if they swallow all these, all, all these things up and then they go away, that's another detriment to gaming. There is 
a lot of other things here that I felt, as I said before, they could have gone after with some of this ammo that they, you know, they've said and have. Cloud Gaming was not one of those to start with. You know, I do think Cloud Gaming might be an additional for a lot of things, but uh, making it the centerpiece of all these, uh, you know, like the CMA did, I didn't think that was the right approach. And here we are today where that's the approach they took and they now have a deal to look like that this deal will go through. So as much as I want more competition in games, more games to come out and going that route, we'll see what Microsoft does. There's been a lot of, you know, things here lately of Microsoft has over a dozen games in uh, in production or, or what, whatnot. I mean, they did come out with uh, Starfield, which seems to be a pretty big hit. Can they continue that momentum with a lot more launches here going forward? Will they expand their Game Pass and will uh, will they expand their Game Pass to have a value enough where people want to continue to jump on that and so it continues to grow? It's something I have tried, but it is not something that I have, you know, jumped on to to say this is something I need to have every single month. Microsoft needs to, you know, bring those people in that, you know, don't always play the latest games, that have a backlog of games, and they need to bring those people into the fold to get their growth numbers. Is that something that they're able to get to with what they've done with Xbox uh, or Xbox Game Pass Core, etc.? So those are some of the things I am going to be watching closely here in the future. I, I don't know if Sony's going to kind of, or Google or anybody else is going to put up much of a fight here. I think that this ball is pretty much rolling, and I think that... Um, if they do, is it just a waste of time at this point based upon how everything else has gone? I don't know, but um, it seems like Sony put a big front up in the beginning trying to stop the deal right off the bat, which I think was a really good um, you know, thought process, trying to stop it before the ball is rolling downhill and, the, and all of a sudden you can't stop anything. So those are some of the things that I'm going through my head, but let me know what your thoughts are on this deal in the comments below. Do you think that there's going to be another hiccup here? Or do you think that this is finally going to um, close here on Oct in, by October 18th? Let me know in the comments below. And le let me know if you have any other thoughts about this deal as well. I'll be sure to read those. And I enjoy reading those. Now, in, I just want to say thank you so much for supporting Grey Overlord and helping this channel grow. I really do appreciate. Like, share, subscribe. Um, hit the bell notification. It does help out the channel, and I do appreciate it. And until next time, God bless.